I was asked to mention something about how to stitch up the lunas together with the felt. Um, my preferred method is the whip stitch, overcast or top stitch as we all might have known it as in a matching thread. Uh, it sinks into the felt. It gives a nice little bit of texture and to finish a character to the, the felt. That's my preferred method, but there are others. So I did, some people like to machine stitch um, and turn it through. And I, my issue with that was the risk or is the risk of the, the opening, particularly stretching when you pull the, the, let's say, for example, the arm through, like it's, you're going to leave a narrow opening and you're pulling through and getting a shape out of it. But some people manage it. So again, it's a preferred method. You, I think you would end up having to trim your seam back quite, quite fine um, in order to do that. You could, of course, uh, machine stitch it on the outside and create a, a ridge if that's what you'd like to do. Uh, I've a blanket stitch on my machine as well. I tried that. Um, lengthen this. I looked first a little bit at what the, the stitch on the machine is and it's quite close together. So I lengthened the stitch to about two and a half and the stitch width is about two. Again, it could take it down a bit narrower, uh, but the risk is to make sure it catches uh, in the felt. And then also with the machining, you might end up with this sort of excess, you know, managing to keep it exactly on the edge. And particularly when you're turning small or going around uh, tight curves, as you would be, for example, on the the hand or the arm, uh, that might not work out so well. So I've seen on some platforms that some people like to use blanket stitch. So I did a little blanket stitch with double embroidered, you know, two strands of embroidered thread. You could try it with one. I think it's it's quite a deep ridge. I think it would create quite a uh, a deep pattern, but it looks lovely on some. I did it with a double ordinary sewing thread. I think possibly if you're using blank stitch, you would be using a single thread and most definitely you would need to use polyester because it has that extra rigidity and strength and will take a little bit of stretch that you can keep a tension on the edge. I personally, personally, I would, I find that very slow. But again, if you're doing mindful sewing and you're taking your time, blanket stitch works for you. Blanket stitch works for you. My preferred, as I say, is the is overcast whip or top stitch. It's also known as I start with a little knot on my thread. I just bring it through. Some of the fibers, just the edge of the fibers of the. The felt. Edge together. And I just literally come down. About two millimeters. And the needle always comes through at a straight angle. And of course, now it's going to knot again for me. Now, some people might only use a single thread. I, I just like, I'm a bit of a belt and braces girl. I like the, the double thread. Now, you might see as I'm pulling it through, I'm actually giving it quite a little bit of a pull. And while I'm not using matching thread, what that pull does is it allows it to sink into the edge of the felt. My nail here, if you have nails, is a little bit of a guide. It just keeps the, the needle coming through and I just keep attention on that. Now, and it has happened here. Here, and that's the risk, is that the thread, just watch for those that sometimes one edge of the thread decides it's going to have a little bit of an extra loop. So just check every so often and just ease that along and get the tension back, get them back together. I sometimes also condition the thread with Thread Heaven or a little bit of beeswax. Just depends on the quality of the thread. The likes of Guterman, Metler, any of those good quality threads, you shouldn't need to do that with it. But maybe with some of the larger spools of polyester thread that might be for machining, you might find it a good idea just to um, just to condition that thread. And I give it a good, good tension, good snap as I bring it through. When I'm finishing. I just take a double stitch. I have my loop. I go into the loop. I'm holding the second loop so it doesn't knot. Give it a tug. And I just feed the thread through the 
the felt and just carefully slip it and it's nice and secure. Now, it's not absolutely perfect, but when it's done with a matching thread and it sinks into the felt, it's perfect. So again, the, the decision of how you want to put your pieces together or sew them together is entirely up to you. But I find personally, I have found this one to be the best, but each to their own.